I've been a vintage collector since I was young. I've always been drawn to the unique designs, intricate details, and the magical stories each piece held, and this is something that heavily inspired my feminine style. I was highly influenced by my great-grandmother, who owned an antique store in the small town I grew up in. I always looked forward to helping her in the shop, and of course, rummaging through her personal collection of stunning jewelry, gorgeous handbags, and glamorous clothing of decades past. This gave me an appreciation for vintage items and their history, and today I'm sharing some of my favorite heirlooms and vintage pieces with you. If you've been following me for a while, then this set might look familiar to you. That's because I use it in a lot of my flat lays on Instagram and the blog. It is absolutely stunning and it is one of my favorite thrift store finds. This is a set from Style Built, and I believe it's from the 1950s to 60s. It has a really ornate rose pattern, and it is just absolutely gorgeous. It came with a brush, comb, hand mirror, mirrored vanity tray, and an adorable nightlight. This vanity set is a recent find, and I've never seen anything quite like it. It is glamorous and beautiful and fit for a princess. It's unmarked, so I'm not quite sure on the brand, but I have a feeling it's from Guildcrest, and that would put it around the 1950s. It came with a hand mirror, brush, comb, and a gorgeous mirrored tray for perfumes. This is a matte black perfume bottle with stopper that was given to me by my mom. It's in an art deco style and I'm not really quite sure on the year, but I'm thinking 20s or 40s, but it's possible that it could be later. And this is a gorgeous gold compact also from my mom in the art deco style and it showcases gorgeous rhinestone detailing and I believe it's from the 1950s. These gorgeous perfume bottles are also from my mom and they were my favorite from when I was little. They used to sit on top of her dresser and I just always adored them. I believe they're from the 1950s. This stunningly beautiful perfume bottle is also a recent find. It's from Madsen and it showcases gorgeous ornate rose detailing. It is so stunning and I'm not quite sure on the year but I believe it's from the 1950s. This mirrored tray is also from Madsen and it has a beautiful rose pattern. It can lie flat or be hung on a wall and I think this one is also from the 1950s. This is another one of my hand mirrors and I'm unsure of the brand or the date but by the looks of it I'm thinking that it is 1920s or possibly earlier. And this is an antique French trinket box. This is my oldest item and it was a gift from my mother. It dates back to the mid to late 1800s. I'm actually unsure as to exactly what this item is. I thought that maybe it was some kind of compact holder or a coin purse, but my mom thinks it might be a potpourri holder. If you have any idea, please feel free to leave a comment. I am dying to know what it is. This is a silver mesh coin purse, and I thought it was really neat because the top actually expands. It is a really interesting design, and I think it's from the 1920s or 30s. And this is a gorgeous Whiting and Davis bag from the 1920s. You can see it has that art deco style at the top, and it is just absolutely gorgeous and a really beautiful piece of history. And I actually have another Whiting and Davis bag that is more modern, and as you can see, they are very similar in style, so they really haven't changed that much. And this is a beautiful whitewashed mirrored tray, and I'm not really quite sure on the brand, but I think that it is also from the 50s. This is a jewelry box from the 1950s. It was a gift from one of my old bosses, and in it I have some of my vintage jewelry. First up, I have these incredible clip-on earrings from Chanel. They showcase pearls and rhinestones, and they are show-stoppingly gorgeous. These were made in France, so that would put them around the late 1970s to early 80s. 
And this is an heirloom from my great-grandmother. It is one of the very few pieces that I own from her. It is a pearl necklace from Givenchy, and it has a snake closure. I have never seen another necklace like this, and it is just so stunning. This adorable bow necklace was also from my great-grandmother, and I'm not quite sure on the year, but I'm thinking it might be from the 80s, and it's from a brand called Monet. These Chanel earrings are from the 90s, and I know that a lot of people probably don't see the 90s as vintage, but technically anything over 20 years is considered vintage, so that's why I've included them. They have the most beautiful rhinestone detailing, and they're super sparkly and absolutely gorgeous. And this longer pearl necklace was also a gift from my great-grandmother, and I'm not really sure of the brand or the date, but I'm thinking it might be 60s or 70s. And then the porcelain plate and bowl that I have the jewelry on are also vintage, and I'm not quite sure of the year, but I'm thinking it could probably be 50s or 60s. This is a train case from Samsonite, and I believe this is from the 1950s. It's not in the best condition, but it is original and it's really cool to look at. It has the interior insert, the original mirror, and everything else included. These vintage magazines were a recent birthday gift from my mom. She has so many magazines and she gave me the most beautiful ones. This Cosmo is from the 1940s, the Ladies Home Journal is from the 1930s, and the McCalls are from the 1960s. The majority of my glassware collection is packed away, so I only have a few items to show you today. This is a crystal punch bowl cup, and I believe it is from somewhere between the 40s through the 60s. And this is a snack tray, which I thought was really cool. It has a little ashtray, a place for a cup, and then a place for your snacks. And I believe this is from the 1940s. This is a cup and cake plate from my 1930s depression glass collection. And I have pretty much the entire collection and it was given to me as a wedding gift from my mom who received it from my great grandmother. I believe this is the Madrid pattern and this collection is one of my most prized possessions. I just love it so much. And these are a few of my milk glass vases. I actually found these from the Goodwill when I first moved out and I was looking for cheap things to furnish my apartment that were still my style. I love them so much. I'm a big fan of milk glass and I have a few other items in storage. And I also have this really cute candy dish and we do use it to keep candy in. I have a lot of vintage clothing in storage at the moment because most of them are vintage coats, but I do have this adorable little shirt dress, and I believe this is from the 1940s or 50s. It has really pretty lace details and buttons down the front, and it's a really pretty light peach color. And lastly, I have this stunning embroidered robe. I just love the light green color and the beautiful floral embroidery and the really unique button closures. I'm not quite sure on the year, but just by looking at it, I think it might be from the 1960s or 70s. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of my very favorite vintage items from my collection and learning a bit more about the story behind them. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future content. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!